Lisa from My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop, and today I'm going to give you some tips on our Vesta Baby Lock Machine. And this one here is sewing and embroidery. Awesome, awesome machine. Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to thread. And um, we're just going to go up and around. Doo -doo. And up and around. And then my favorite part is you're gonna, and I say get the hook right here on number six, okay? And then I say floss, cause you're gonna put it in, it's like flossing your teeth, right? And then you're gonna go right above number seven. There's a little um, thread um, cutter on the side. And now we're gonna go like this and our needle is threaded. You know, the, these machines are really good for our maturing eyes. Right? <laughs> They're really good for my eyes. <laughs> okay, and so um, that's how you thread the top to thread your um, your bobbin. Very easy. Make a P with your with your thread. Okay, your thread's coming off the left-hand side. All you have to do is drop your, um, your bobbin in, follow the little path, and then there's another little thread cutter. And then you're going to put your cover on. And where this is a drop-in bobbin, you do not need to bring your thread to the top. So you just start sewing. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Okay, now um, this machine has all these different stitches. This is just on the sewing part, okay? So um, you've got your, your little screen that comes up here. Actually, you know what? Let's just turn our machine on or off. We're gonna turn it back on so we can see um, what the machine so we it comes up we're going to touch our screen and then it's going to pull up right here the section um, that we you know with your sewing section okay to get to your different icons if you were to push this button here on the bottom okay this these numbers go with the numbers that are here on the top of your the little icons up here on the top different sections okay So let's say that we want to stitch a quarter inch seam, okay? And this is really easy with this machine. So we're gonna go to this icon, and right here we have, this has like um, a little P right here, right? See that little P on number 29? That means it's a piecing, um, a piecing stitch. So we're gonna go to number one, okay? And then we're gonna, and we've got six pages here. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to number 29. Now I want you to watch these numbers switch, okay? If you push 29, this automatically will move our needle over to as far as it needs to go to the right. So it will be stitching a quarter of an inch from the side of your pressure foot, okay? And it also shortens your stitch length. So all you have to do is automatically just go right there and it um, moves that to where it needs to be, okay? I'm gonna show now, you how easy it is to go from sewing to embroidery, okay? So you have a tray of feet right here. We're gonna put just put on our, um, actually we already have our embroidery foot on, but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to take off your feet right here, and then we'll put the embroidery foot back on. Okay, you're just going to, and I'm gonna suggest not to take the screw all the way out. Just kind of jiggle it here a little bit, okay, until it will come off. Then you're gonna put your ankle, okay, you're gonna put your ankle on, and that's gonna come up from the bottom, okay. Up right, so I have to still unscrew that just a little bit. Move that up, and then, oops, I forgot. Um, see how easy? And then we're gonna get like our J foot out, and see how easy it is. You're just going to drop that, and it clips right on. 
okay so now now i'm going to show you just the opposite we're going to take this off okay see how it just automatically drops the ankle off of there okay we're just going to turn that around and we'll put that aside now we've got our foot that we're going to add our embroidery foot okay Okay, screw that on. Okay, now we're gonna tr um, take off this tray real quick, and then, and then we'll put the embroidery unit on. So when you're doing tray, tra putting on your embroidery unit, we're going to turn off our machine. We're gonna put that aside, and now we're going to. slide that on okay now to take it off there's going to be a little lever underneath that you're going to take a hold up and then you'll just pull that off. oh really quite simple okay all right so once that's on we're going to turn this on and then we're going to touch the screen it comes up and says vista we're going to touch the screen and it's going to calibrate our arm for us so then it will be in the right position that we need it to be on. Now we have exclusives. You have lots of different um, designs right onto our screen. What's nice is that you can, let's bring in a picture from the kids' corner, okay? We're gonna go like this, bring in our fish. We're gonna press set. Now what's so nice about the Vesta is you can add and maybe, and go to our fonts, and maybe what you want to do is you want to, let's just say fish. Okay, you have upper and you have lowercase letters. To get to your lowercase letters, you've got to use our little arrows over. Okay, and now we have fish written. We're going to press that. Now we can move our fish up. Okay. And then with the fish, see how the red outline is there? have a red outline now what we can do is we can go to the font edit and we can array we can array um, oh, cool. the letters around that okay if we have fish on the bottom we can array it um, let's go move okay so then we can just take and we can move move the fish to the bottom okay you can put a name and, and um, whatever you want. So, also, if, there, if there's a design that you're gonna stitch out all the time, maybe you don't wanna, you know, you have it already on your screen, ready to go, you can save that into the pocket of your machine, okay? So, see this little pocket with the arrow? We're going to select that. Now you can save it into the pocket of your machine, which I'm gonna save that. Or you could, if we did this one more time, you could save it to a thumb drive, or this machine is also wireless. So you could save it um, on your computer. Okay, so you can tell it to save it on your computer. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna go back here real quick. So let's delete, okay, I've deleted that off of there. Now, I'm gonna go back here to this pocket, okay? If I go to that pocket, I'm gonna go to my, my machine because that's where I saved it. Look, there's that fish with the name on it, or the name of fish, okay? I'm gonna press that and there's that design back. So if you're gonna make a whole bunch of the same thing, then that is a great um, place to store that. Perfect.